Welcome back. You might be one of the many thinking about New Year's resolution or lofty goals. And one of the most important ones is to prioritize our health and well-being in 2022. Let's get away from setting unrealistic ones, though, and work on a few simple, easy things that we all can do to be healthier and happier in the coming year. Tom Spring, Director of Well-Being and Health Engagement at Priority Health, has some great advice and tips on how to do so. Good morning to you. Morning, Leanne. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much. So what are a few different ways people can prioritize their health in 2022? Yeah, of course, it's very important that we take care of ourselves, right? And and oftentimes we set New Year's resolutions that are just unattainable. And so then they don't happen and we feel badly about it and then we give up, right? So it's important to do small things. And I think the starting point really is to have a good connection with your uh, health care provider. Um, talk to your doctor, make your uh, physical appointments, understand where you are with your health, and then do smaller things to improve upon that. So step one, I think, is to really, um, you know, make sure that a, that a relationship with your primary care doctor and regular visits is a, is a, a big priority. And then work on some of the things that um, they recommend. Uh, maybe you need to get up and exercise a little bit more. Maybe you need to drink a little bit more water. You know, doing small things that add up, kind of like a piggy bank, right? Um, we put change in the piggy bank, and all of a sudden we realize we've got you know, $10, $100 or what have you, it does add up when you do small things like get out for a short walk during the day, stand up, move around, um, you know, get off of the screens once in a while, engage your family in some ex activities and exercise. And then of course, what we eat is very, very important also and making small changes in your diet. And, and you know, these things really do add up and they're a lot easier than saying, I need to lose 100 pounds by Valentine's Day or something yeah. ridiculous like that. Absolutely. So simple, healthy habits. So that I love that advice right there. Like you said, a lot of times just going back to drinking more water. Sometimes you your body thinks you're hungry because you need more water. So that's great advice right there. So as far as resources, people really like to have those resources to tap into. Uh, as far as health plans like Priority Health, anything that people should be taking advantage of through you guys? Yeah, that's a great question and great point. Oftentimes people don't think of their health plan as a place to learn about their health, rather just somewhere where we will you know, pay for health care. Um, but Priority Health and all the health plans that I'm aware of have great resources. Um, we have a well-being hub, for example, for our members that they can log into and uh, take a health assessment, really understanding, again, where are you with your behavioral health and, and how much do you exercise? Do you do enough things? Managing your stress, managing your mental health these days is a very, very important thing. We see a lot of people you know, struggling, working from home, social isolation, dealing with COVID that, that just see, won't seem to go away. Um, so we have great resources for people to engage online, people to talk to, um, health coaches, et cetera. So, um, you know, use the resources that are available to you. They're underutilized and that's sometimes a shame, um, but uh, your employer and your health plan often have resources you're not even aware of that can really help um, support these smaller changes and in, in healthier lifestyle that we're all striving for. All right, well, while we're talking about health plans, of course, it's important to note that right now is open enrollment. So can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. So every year you have the opportunity as an individual um, to select a health plan and the deadline is January 15th. So you still have about 10 days. Um, you can go to healthcare.gov or prioryhealth.com. Um, learn more about plans that meet your needs, your budget, uh, your family's needs. It's important to pick a, and choose a health plan that really um, works for you. And, um, and you still have 10 days if you're an individual and if you're, you know, you get your health plan through an employer, um, then you have probably gone through that open enrollment period already. But it's very important just to choose the right plan for you, your family and whatever situation that you're in. All right. With that said, wishing you a very happy and healthy 2022. Thanks so much. Thank you too. Stay warm. Thank you so much. So again, PriorityHealth.com is where you want to tap into. 